Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name's Rachel and this is Stitched Up. So today is Monday and it's a very, very special vlog today because I thought I would tell you all about my weekend at the KB Sewing Retreat down on the Isle of Wight. And yeah, I got back yesterday and oh boy, did we have an amazing time. So um, I'm gonna link to Shan's vlogs down below. Go check out her vlogs, but basically, I went to a three, four day um, sewing retreat down at Lyle Coombe, which is St. Lawrence on the Isle of Wight, I believe. And it's the first time I've ever been to the Isle of Wight and it was beautiful, such a beautiful, beautiful island. Weather was perfect. We stayed in this absolutely beautiful country house. Um, and yeah, it was just incredible. There were about 12 of us all together and the whole purpose of the weekend was to make the Celine bag by Swoon Patterns which I have actually finished. I was one of two people that managed to get it done. Um, it was a tall ask to be honest because there were so many um, facets to making this bag. And um, But yeah, I've, I have taken some footage and I'll insert it in this video for you to have a look. I'm not quite sure how much footage I did take of the retreat but um, I thought you might be interested to see it and the reason I didn't take a lot was because you know I didn't want to interrupt Shan's flow with teaching the course and also you know lots of people were there to you know they paid a lot of money to enjoy the retreat really get um, as much as they possibly could from Shan with regards to um, bag making and you know they really didn't want the camera being stuffed in their faces all the time so um, yeah I have to take a little bit of footage of the weekend but to give you a bit of a breakdown we arrived Thursday afternoon and Thursday evening we went to the Spyglass which is one of Shan's local pubs just that's just on the um, beachfront down in Ventnor and um, it was fabulous we had a lovely meal there and obviously got to know each other a little bit better then the next morning we obviously got to work straight away on the mammoth cutting out session and it took an entire morning to cut out all the pieces to make this bag. Um, and yeah, then in the afternoon we, um, well I managed to get the first part sewn up so that's when we really got to grips with getting some sewing done which was nice. And in the evening on the first day, we um, yes, we went. We had our gala dinner, and I wore the Maid of Honor dress that I made last year, the Vogue V one four seven four, I think it is, which I made for my father's wedding last year. So um, yeah, that was amazing to have the opportunity to wear that again because I didn't think I ever would. And everybody got dressed up, everybody looked amazing. Shan wore this beautiful green satin dress, which was one of the first things she ever made, and it was just incredible. Um, yeah, it was just, just wonderful. One thing I do need to say about this weekend as well is that Shan's parents actually were heavily involved in not only supporting her, but just being involved with all of us for the weekend and it was just incredible the amount of effort that these guys went to and they are such a lovely lovely family um yeah if you've watched shan's vlogs you will have, you will have seen her dad danny and her mum jay um aka the fwiff and the quilting queen and uh, yeah i have to say that meeting them in real life all three of them they are just genuinely lovely people exactly as you see on Shan's vlogs so you know it was just wonderful they were perfect hosts they put so much time so much of their valuable time and effort into making the success of this retreat for Shan and yeah it was just such an honour being there and being part of it so a huge huge thank you to Jane and Danny for their support for Shan and obviously their effort in making it such a huge success so we had at the gala dinner, Jane and Danny attended that as well. We got to spend an evening um, having a lovely meal and um, playing a few sort of dinner party games, which was interesting to say the least. Um, and yeah, the next day it was sort of like a real big push to try and get the bag made. Now, most people didn't manage to get the entire bag made. Um, I sort of made a really concerted effort. I mean, you all know who've watched my vlogs, 
you all know how quick I can sew um, but this is the first proper bag that I've ever made and um, yeah I, it was a real big push towards the end to get it completed in time and then um, so I'll show you that in a minute and then yesterday morning we got up oh sorry that evening we which was Saturday evening, we were having a pyjama and a pizza night, which was great fun, um, especially when we were supposed to be watching Labyrinth and we couldn't get it working. So we abandoned that idea and instead got to see some of Jane's amazing quilts. And if any of you have seen Sean's vlog where her and her mum talk about the quilts that um, Jane has made over the years, I've seen that vlog but to actually see them in real life you would not believe the amount of detail and effort that has gone into those quilts I've never seen anything like it they're incredible um, so that was a real treat and uh, yeah we got up yesterday morning said all our goodbyes and headed up um, all obviously left and um, for home and yeah it was an amazing weekend made some fabulous friends everybody everybody got on really well it was lovely to meet so many different people and uh, yeah it's uh, and i know that a few of you watch my channel and a few of you that didn't watch my channel um possibly may now and um yeah it was amazing absolutely amazing and um yeah far exceeded my expectations it was certainly something that i've never done before and i yeah i have not just come out of this with a bag but with so much i can't say how much it's it's affected my life honestly um it may sound silly but you know we all have trials and tribulations in our life and get bogged down by the daily the daily grind so to speak and yeah it was a real it had a real impact on my life let's just leave it there anyway. i'm sure you're dying to see the finished bag now first things first i must apologize for how i look because um my hair is a mess because i've been out for a run this evening i've been back at work today which was a real downer after a lovely weekend and i've come back from the run i've cooked tea for me and my son because my husband's now away for a few days so it's just me and him and I've got my running t-shirt on um, I'm all sweaty and need to go get a shower. So, but I wanted to get this done to get this out for you guys because I know that some of the guys from the retreat are dying to sort of see it. So anyway, let me show you my finished bag. So here she is. This is my Celine bag that I made on the retreat. And if I just bring it in closer, you can see the main fabric that I've used is called Zombie Apocalypse by Alexander Henry. It comes in different colourways. There's this grey and black and white one, but it also comes in like an orange version and also a blue version, I believe. Um, I've also used some grey vinyl on the side. So that's the front. It's got a little zipper. I don't know if you can see that there, which just cuts those zombie ladies right across the chest. Um, and then at the back, just put that inside, at the back I um, have used another part of the fabric with that lovely lady right there and there is a little zombie right in the corner, I don't know if you can see him down there. So I just thought this fabric was such fun and um, yeah I am super super happy with this bag it is amazing Um, I've done lots of top stitching and I've decided to use a light grey thread Um, now my top stitching isn't perfect because even though I've got a really really high quality sewing machine it's made me realize I do need a teflon foot which as soon as I got home I did order from Amazon so that's coming later this week and uh, yeah so some of the stitching quality is not perfect but you know this is the first bag I've ever made um, it's got these lovely um, I don't even know what you call these anchors I think they are bag anchors on there and there's also um, some little gorgeous um, end straps there now I used gunmetal hardware for this um, because I just thought it matched in perfectly and although it might not seem a very colourful bag and lots of you might think you know it's not very colourful it's not very bright I wanted what I wanted was a bag that I'm gonna wear wear you don't wear a bag do you a bag that I would carry with everything that I wear and it would just match anything that I decided to wear and I thought this sort of neutral neutral colour even though it's a little bit funky would uh, would work well with that so that's why I went for this colour scheme so let me show you inside the bag um, 
Inside is, you have um, a zip that holds it together just there, okay. And again, I've used a gunmetal zip. And then inside you have this um, pocket supplement, which is just here, which has got all these extra little pockets that are all great to sort of put your phone in. And there's a slot for a pen. You can just see my pen just there. So that's really, really handy. Um, the other side, inside, you've got another zipper pocket just there. Um, the fabric that I've used, I don't know if you can see that, is a, um, again, it's a cotton fabric and it's just a grey and white um, feather print. And I just thought that was fairly neutral because there's enough going on on the outside of the bag, so I wanted to keep the inside fairly neutral. And then obviously on the outside of the bag, it's got another pocket just there that's all fully lined as well. Um, also inside the bag, you've got a little um, lobster clasp there, which you can obviously attach um, keys to if you want to, or, and it's got another sort of uh, D-ring on the other side, so you can just um, attach those together to um, bring the bag in if you want to, if you want to sort of make it fold in a little bit like that. So um, yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. I love it. I'm so happy. There's still a few little bits I need to finish off. Um, there's a few threads that I need to um, cut. I've also got, I don't know if you can see them there, there's some rivets just in there as well, which Sean Bloss helped me to, um, to do because we really were pressed for time towards the end. But I'm so, so pleased with it. It's just fantastic. And yeah, I've really caught the bag making bug now and I wanna make another one of these. Um, I want to make all the bags. Um, but don't worry, I will still be making lots of clothes because you know I've got that massive stash, haven't I, that I have to use. A um, couple of other bits I wanted to just tell you as well was the lovely Anna, who is You Got Me In Stitches, I will link to her channel down below, bought me a lovely present at the end of the stay, which was just so, so sweet of her. She, um, she called me on the last morning, yesterday morning, and took me off to her room and gave me a little gift. And um, when I opened it, she got me a stick of Isle of Wight rock. Um, which has disappeared Anna if you're watching. It was on my worktop in the kitchen and it's gone and I've got a sneaking suspicion that my 16 year old son has taken it but then he has just started his GCSE exams today so I can kind of forgive him for that. And um, yeah, she also got me a pair of these applique scissors which was just so lovely. She saw my vlog a few weeks ago where I'd mentioned that I didn't have any um, and then she went and obviously got these for me to give to me at the retreat. Um, and then I did go out and order some from Amazon, but I've got a second set now, which is always useful because I'm always putting things down and not knowing where they are. So it was so lovely of her. So thank you, Anna. It was wonderful to finally meet you. And um, I'm really, really, really grateful for these. Thank you. Um, the other thing that we did as well was we all decided before the retreat that we were going to do like a little gift for each other, like a secret Santa type of thing and make it sort of sewing themed. And um, I got a gorgeous little bag, which is this here, filled with lots of sewing goodies. And um, this was done by the lovely Lorraine. Hi Lorraine, if you're watching. Um, I know Lorraine does watch my vlog. And she filled it with all sorts of lovely things, including a packet of Reese's peanut butter cups, which have already been demolished. I ate those along with my husband last night when we got back. So in here, we've got like a little point turner. There were some wonder clips which um, I did use for as part of the bag making course. She got me some some little sewing machine needles. Um, there's also gorgeous little pin. Don't know if you can see that there, that little sewing machine pin. I'm going to have to start a bit of a collection I think because I've got a few pins. She got me a pack of these lovely buttons. Look at those. The little it's like a little handbag. Don't know if you can see that. How amazing are those? Um, what else have we got in here? Oh yeah, she's, she's got me some thread snips, which are always super handy to have a little pack of those. And this lovely, lovely, look at this. This is, is a needle case and, and I don't know if Lorraine has made this herself, but um, it's just gorgeous and that's going to be so useful. So. Um, that's really, really lovely. Thank you. Um, she also got me this. I thought this was a lipstick when I opened it. And I thought, wow, she's got me a lipstick. But when you open it, watch this. You open it and it's actually got needles inside. 
but it's meant to look like a lipstick so that's really really cool so that's amazing a um, couple of sets of ribbon which um, yeah that will come in really handy for lots and lots of projects and um, finally some more pins which we always need pins so that's just great so yeah so that was really cool to get that little sewing gift so thank you Lorraine for that there's some fabulous little things in there which will come in really really handy so yeah I'm gonna now insert the um, clips that I filmed so I hope you enjoy and um, yeah I will look forward to seeing you all again very soon bye so good morning and it is Thursday and I have left the house about 10 minutes ago and uh, yeah I am just I've just filled up the car with some fuel and I am heading down to Southampton to the ferry terminal which is 250 miles away from where I live so I've got a good journey ahead of me um, picking up three lovely ladies at the terminal who are making the way down there um, and then we're getting the ferry about half past 12 to East Cows on the Isle of Wight. Then we've got another hour, I believe another hour's travelling to get to the hotel where we start our retreat this afternoon. So really, really looking forward to it. Been up bright and early this morning, had a shower, done my hair, got my makeup on and I am so looking forward to this. It's something that I've never done before. Um, yeah, totally different to anything that I've ever done before. So, uh, yeah, husband's on his way to work, son is up, off to school, and I've got freedom for a few days. So that's exciting. So, yeah, um, just, I will obviously just reassure you that I am hands-free at the minute and getting some odd looks from some of the other drivers in the cars as to why I'm talking to myself, but there we go. So, uh, yeah, long journey ahead of me. It's quarter past seven in the morning. Um, it should take me about four hours to get there, but because I'm gonna be going through <coughs> what's essentially rush hour traffic on the M1, which for those of you that don't live in the UK is our major route south. Um, and our roads are very, very heavily trafficked. So I'm expecting some delays on route. So I've given myself plenty of time to get there. So catch up with you later. Coombe where we're staying. Um, it's an absolutely beautiful, beautiful building. There's Anna's car. I'm sure she'll be delighted me showing that. Everybody's working hard. <laughs> There's Lorraine deep in concentration.
guys, it's Pepless. That was just like, swish, woo, swish, and swish, 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 amazing retreat here on the Isle of Wight. We've had a, all had an amazing time. If you ever get the opportunity, I would say come along. It's just been fantastic. Everybody's been so friendly. Um, the weather's been perfect. The location's been perfect. Um, feeling rather sad to go home. But uh, yes, back to reality, back to real life. I'll see you all again soon.